25-year-old Shannon Dunn of Buxton talks about the first time she took her fishing boat around Diamond Shoals in an interview with Susan West. Do you ever spend the night on the boat now? I only did it once this summer for Spanish mackerel to go to the North Beach because, well, I don't know, they went over there and my dad was like, don't, because I'm by myself, he doesn't want me going over there by myself. And he's like, no, 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 don't go over there, you'll catch him over here. And then they started whacking him on the North Beach and it was like two days in a row. Why did your dad not want you to go there? Because you have to go around the shoals. Did you? So, uh, one afternoon I got in and I told him I was going to go stay the night. He just thought, he always thinks I'm joking, but when I say I'm going to do something, I always do it. But. Uh -huh. And uh, so I got in one afternoon from fishing after they were whacking them on the North Beach. And I listened, on, listened to them on the radio. And I came in and I called my mom and I was like, Mom, bring me some food. I'm staying the night. I'm going to go stay the night. I'm going to go over the North Beach, fish this afternoon and stay the night and fish all day tomorrow. And so I came in and my dad's like, you're not going, you're not going. And I was like, yes, I am. And, but anyways, he couldn't talk me out of it because, well, he was going to talk me out of it if there was no one else staying the night. And, but I actually talked to people on the radio that were going to stay the night to Parker and Benny. And so I went over to the North Beach that afternoon and it was pretty choppy over there and the boat's kind of small. I wouldn't have hardly slept at all in that. So I went and just jumped around and went and stayed the night in the cove and then woke up and went over the shoals in the morning. Was that the first time you'd taken the boat across the shoals? Mm -hmm. Was that scary? Going over it was fun, and the day before it was fun, but the next day coming back over, there, it was like a freak, really freak swell that came in, and I don't remember Rob, I, you remember Rob talking about it that day? We were all in North Beach, and there's just like this random swell that hit all of a sudden, like head high. My yeah. mom calls me, she's like, Shannon, are you still out there? It's head high, the waves are good, like overhead actually, I think it was overhead, and it wasn't calling for that. And so I had to go back over the shoals, and I was like, oh, crap. And, uh, and I followed Attitude, and Diva was behind me. And, and I like, see Attitude in front of me. There's like this little, instead of going way around the shoals, there's a little, little cut you can take. Uh -huh. And I was following Attitude, and there was like chest high, like waves, like all around me, like one behind me, one on my right, one to my left, and one in front of me. And I like couldn't, I was trying to like, stay like I gunned it and tried to stay like on top of the on the back of one wave and could barely see attitude in front of me <laughs> and Devo stopped Devo saw and I guess my dad talked to him later he said the whole like right when he was about to follow me the whole entire thing closed up so Devo went and took a different way <laughs> oh gee but so isn't that frightening or is it a rush I guess it's a rush yeah yeah <laughs> it's just like please don't let me lose the boat <laughs>